We've lived here for about 25 years now. After about half a dozen years, we found out there's koalas around here. There had been quite a few killed between us and the stock route across the road where there's quite a few koalas. So I thought, well, you know, maybe if we build a bit of a habitat here, it might stop them crossing the road as much. So today we've been in and picked up 2,000 trees. After that big drought we had, I said to my wife, we were in, this paddock here we're standing in was a, I used to sow oats and stuff like that in it, and it was just cultivation. So I said, we'll have to um, do something with that because the wind used to come from the west and blow all this dust around and it was a mess. So I thought, well, that'd be a good idea to plant a few acres of trees there, which will, will protect us and make it better for the koalas too. They'll, um, they'll have some more trees to, to climb up and eat in. Giving the land a break won't hurt it at all. Later on, we'll be able to put some sheep in there when the trees get up to a certain height. And yeah, things will be fine. Climax's role in the project is to put out an expression of interest and contact the landholders directly. Uh, we have a member base, plus it's uh, advertised widely. So we collect the landholders, their interest, then we go on to a site visit to make sure that the site's suitable. And it's just that constant keeping in touch with the landholder, making sure that you know the site's prepared, um, if they have fencing, fencing goes up um, and just try to help them if they have any problems along the way. Once landholders do a project with us, then you've built that relationship. You know, they're open for different funding opportunities. They'll contact you with any issues. They've just got that point of contact that they can come to us and then if we don't know the answer, then we direct them either, you know, to the LLS, almost like a stepping stone between the landholder and other government agencies. The landholders wouldn't be able to do projects like this without assistance. It's not only the funding, it's the advice that's been given to them and just that networking because it's a big job. I mean, they get free trees, but the work they have to put into it to get the trees in the ground and then maintain them for, you know, the next 10, 15 years, um, it is, it's a big commitment on the landholders' part and we've just got to be there to help them.